This is the Vocal Cyclone Tour. Apparently, this is a tour version of one of my favorite polys, the Vocal Cyclone. And as a preface, I think this is a near perfect string except for two complaints that I'll explain later in this video. But before we get into it, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell for more original tennis content. Without further delay, this is the Vocal Cyclone Tour Tennis String Review. Stringing this up was actually a bit of a pain, but I'm not going to list that as a complaint necessarily because this YouTube channel has been more about performance versus budget instead of what it is like to string a particular type of string as an actual stringer. Although this did notch a bit during stringing, I thought this was going to be very, very stiff string on playthrough. To my surprise, I was very, very wrong. Even though this was just like the original Vocal Cyclone, this string is gear shaped. The reason why this is apparently a different string because this tour version is twisted and the marketing text says it is softer and for once the marketing text is absolutely correct this is a very very soft string not just for a geared and textured poly but for a, it's actually pretty soft for a poly in general with no break-in period i was able to get swing right away with this bad boy and oh my goodness let me tell you this is an absolute spin monster without the discomfort from, from regularly shaped polys rivaling the spin potential of the Selenko Hypergy. Yes, the feeling was absolutely muted, but it wasn't so muted that you couldn't feel the feedback on the string bed, unlike the Technifiber Razor Soft that I reviewed. I'll leave a link to that in this corner if you haven't checked it out already. The launch angle at the string bed was a little high, but nothing unmanageable to adjust to, and the slices were top notch. The softness of the string bed really accentuated the underspin and side spin off the backhand slices and forehand squash shots. And yes, the string was also fantastic for flatter shots too. At the net, this is a near flawless string due to the comfort and dwell time of the ball for both stick volleys and finesse volleys. And yes, this was also a perfect racket for serving as well. Yes, the flat serves were excellent due to the softer feel of the string, and the kick serves a bit better than most shaped polys I've actually play tested. But the best serve with the string was actually the outside serves. I had significantly more aces on the deuce side, slice serves, and a lot of forehand return errors on the slice serves going to the ad side of the team. But like with all strings, this is not a perfect string. So let's take a look at the two, the two complaints that I had. Coming from a stiffer string setup, this power of the string took a little bit of getting used to. For the first hour of hitting, I kept on sailing forehands a few inches past the baseline when it shouldn't have been. But my biggest complaint is that after the three and a half hour mark, not only did I feel the power become seriously overwhelming, but the tension drop went from 30 DT, the initial tension, to 23 DT, which is so low that even on the ERT 300 conversion chart, it doesn't even show the range of tension that's acceptable. This is one of the most drastic tension drops I've seen from a string in its entire lifetime. Honestly, I'm wondering how different this would be if Vocal made this string a little bit stiffer. Retailing at $9 a packet for the string, it's really up to the viewers of this video whether or not it's worth the money. Have you tried the string before? If so, did I hit the nail on the head or did I completely shank this one? Let me know down in the comment section below or better yet, join my Discord to talk all about all things tennis. This is strung up at 50 pounds, even though ERT says it was closer to 44 pounds, so I gotta do some investigating on my Diadem Nova V3 tour. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well. And as always guys, happy hitting.